After going to back-to-back -to -back NCAA tournaments in 81 and 82, the Fresno State men's basketball team suffered a heartbreaking overtime loss to UNLV in the championship game of the 1983 PCAA tournament, denying the Dogs a third straight trip to the big dance. But in a strange twist of fate, that loss helped set up another special run, whose epic celebration happened on this day in Bulldog history, brought to you by Precision Civil Engineering. years ago today, the Fresno State men's basketball team returned to Fresno, conquering heroes after arguably the greatest moment in the program's history. The night before, in front of an estimated 1,500 Bulldog fans that had made the trip to historic Madison Square Garden in New York City, the Dogs had captured the first major championship in history for any Fresno State team when they beat DePaul 69-60 to win the 1983 NIT title. You know, when you first came here, did you ever expect to be in this situation, number one in the NIT? No, but she kept telling me that we were going to beat DePaul, and we did. We didn't choke up. We came back to hit clutch free, free throws at the end, and, and of course, it, it was great to, to beat DePaul. They're, they're a, uh, the winningest team in the country. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, Fresno's been so great, and, and I, I'm just happy that we could give them a championship. They deserve it. That NIT celebration party in Fresno on that 31st day of March in 1983 began at the airport. You're great. The greatest. And continued on campus well into the night where thousands had gathered to cheer the team that had given the Red Wave and the Central Valley a title they would still be talking about over four decades later. Boyd Grant had the dogs back in the NCAA tournament one year later, and the year after that in 85, the dogs were actually back in the NIT, coming within one win from going back to New York City before they lost to Reggie Miller in UCLA in the NIT quarterfinals.